just in, the visa of Novak Djokovic has been cancelled. Extraordinary news from Australia. The biggest story in tennis right now. There are reports Djokovic is now pursuing a court challenge. Protests against Novak Djokovic's detention in an immigration hotel. On the issue of Mr Djokovic, rules are rules. Novak Djokovic will be released from immigration detention in Australia after a judge overturned the Australian government's decision to cancel his visa. The judge quashing the cancellation of the unvaccinated player's visa hours after asking, what more could this man have done? As for the legal saga, well, it certainly could continue as well. We know that our immigration minister, Alex Hawke, could still boot him out of the country. The average punter overseas looks at this as Australia and we look like idiots. He's an anti-vaxxer, which is another way of saying he's, I'm trying to think of that word, moron. Tonight, Border Force are returning serve, investigating whether the world number one lied on his form to enter Australia. Novak Djokovic comes clean with two major admissions. Quote, this was an error of judgment and I accept that I should have rescheduled this commitment. On the issue of my travel declaration, this was submitted by my support team on my behalf, as I told immigration officials on my arrival. My agent sincerely apologises for the administrative mistake in ticking the incorrect box about my previous travel before coming to Australia. This was a human error and certainly not deliberate. The world number one's been named in the Australian Open draw on another day of drama at Melbourne Park. The world number one or public enemy number one. The world's divided. Rafa could not have put it any better. Just get vaccinated. The world awaits the news of whether or not we will see one of the greatest tennis stars ever compete in the Australian Open. We'd just like some finality here from Australia. Is he going to play or is he not going to play? I mean, it, it's getting a bit ridiculous. Still no decision. Make a decision. Don't throw him out. He is a tennis player. He's not politician. He is not a criminal. He is not murder. He is just a tennis player, the best in the world. Just let him play. And the right thing to do is just to go home and say, you know what, if you pull a hamstring, you don't get to play you don't you don't make a worldwide uproar about that and uh it's just the right thing to do but i don't yeah. think he will do that because he wants that 21st title so it, it takes a lot of uh, daring to do i think um and putting a grand slam kind of at risk we all wait with bated breath Novak Djokovic has had his visa cancelled for the second time. This has been a long-awaited decision. Now, what happens next is still a little unclear. We know from protocol that he should be taken back to the detention hotel in Carlton while he is processed. He's due to play on Monday. It's sounding like if he does get deported, he'll simply be replaced. Novak Djokovic's legal team has been prepared for this. The next move is to apply for an injunction in the federal court.